it's Nico from Documenting Simple Living. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple and super fast to make homemade degreaser. What you will need to make this is baking soda, white distilled vinegar, water, essential oil if you would like to have that in your degreaser, and you may also want to use a funnel. It does make the process cleaner and faster in my experience. To make this homemade degreaser, what you do is put about a teaspoon of baking soda in your glass bottle. Next, pour in about 250 milliliters, so about half of the bottle with vinegar. Now go slowly when you pour the vinegar in because baking soda and vinegar react. And as you can see, I made the mistake of putting a bit too much baking soda in the first time I made this and it bubbled all over the place. So it was a bit of a mess. So go slowly, pour a little bit in, let it bubble and then settle back down. Pour a little bit more, let it bubble, settle back down and so forth until you have about half the bottle filled with vinegar. Then using your funnel, fill up the rest of the bottle with water. So this would be about 250 milliliters of water. Again, go slowly when you pour this in so you don't have a mess on your hands. Finally, you can add in about 15 to 20 drops of an essential oil of your choice. I like to use lemon because I always have that essential oil on hand. Other people use orange. I also like to use tea tree. I actually prefer the smell of tea tree oil over lemon even and find it does a better job at cleaning in my experience. But to be honest, I sometimes don't even put any essential oils in and just use the baking soda vinegar and water mixture for my degreaser. Now to actually use this, what I do is spray it on to whatever surface I'm trying to clean and then walk away and leave it for about five or so minutes. Then I come back and depending on the level of grease, I either use just a regular sponge or a stainless steel scrubber and just scrub off as much as I can in that initial pass. I use a wet microfiber cloth to wipe it all out. And then if there's still a layer of grease, I'll just repeat the whole process. So spray it all down again, let it sit, use either a sponge or a stainless steel scrubber, and then wipe it down with just a microfiber cloth that's wet with water. I don't know about you, but I sort of got to a place where the mental strain of being worried that one of my young kids would I don't know, lick or bite the nozzle of a store-bought degreaser that's pretty toxic. It just wasn't worth it anymore and I kind of out of necessity started doing some research on non-toxic home cleaning options. And a lot of them are just the same ingredients, different amounts, but the same ingredients, baking soda, vinegar, water, you know, essential oil, or even like the rinds of lemons and oranges. I have found that this type of cleaning requires a few more passes, especially for really greasy surfaces. I do tend to have to repeat the process twice, but in all honesty, it's worth it for me because I don't have the mental strain of worrying that, you know, the other toxic chemicals are being found by my young ones. You can probably tell by how I'm figuring out some of these things literally on camera as I make these videos that I'm really new to the more simple living sort of lifestyle. For me, it's motivated by wanting to opt out of some of the more industrial systems that we find ourselves in today. And despite living with my family in a big city and not having you know, a farmhouse or lots of land or chickens, <laughs> I still think it's worthwhile and totally possible 
to find ways of opting out of systems and learning to live a bit more simply in the modern world. And if you're interested in that sort of thing, I would recommend that you sign up for the Documenting Simple Living newsletter, which is basically a community of people who are similarly minded and who are all sharing each other's experience with what we're learning as we are on this simple living journey. If you're interested in subscribing to that, the link is in the description below. I hope this has been useful for you as well, and I will speak to you in the next Documenting Simple Living video.